In vocab class, we make it easy for teachers to assign word lists to individual students, groups of students, or the whole class. Let's start by recognizing the two word lists option. Remember, in the Customize Program tab, you can customize the available activities and lessons for two distinct word lists. An example of this would be using word list number one for your student's spelling words and using word list number two for your student's vocabulary words. Now, with the Assign Word Lists feature, you can select the actual lists you want to apply to word list number one or word list number two, or both, and assign these to your students. Before we start the actual assigning of word lists, let's first review the options available in determining which students you want to assign word lists to. Step 1 allows you to use filters in selecting students, teachers can filter by grade or groups. Remember, in the Add Edit Students tab, if you select the Edit, Delete, Login page, teachers can assign grades and groups to each student. In this demonstration, we put our students in 3rd, 4th or 5th grade and also put them in groups consisting of below grade level, on level or above grade level. Now, in the Assign Word Lists tab, we can use Step 1 to filter our students and then assign a word list. Please note, the filtering option is of great use when you have a large number of students if, for example, you are a departmentalized ELA teacher with 80 students consisting of 4 different sections, filtering can be a time-saving feature. If you have applied a filter, those filtered students appear below. If you did not apply a filter, all the students registered in your vocab class teacher account appear below. The next step. Step 2 is to decide if you want to assign a word list to each of the filtered students or all of your students. If so, click the checkbox in step 2. Alternatively, you can leave the box unchecked and move below and select each student you want to assign individually. In this example, we are assigning the same word list to every student in the class. We start by not using a filter in step 1 and go directly to step 2, option 1, and click the checkbox. Now that all the students in the class are selected, stay in the option 1 row and select a list type. The list type pull-down menu wants to know from where do you want to select a list group. From vocabulary lists, spelling lists, your teacher lists, published lists, or themed lists. Please note. Teachers can go back and review all of the available lists in the Manage Word Lists tab and see all the words in each list, print those words and definitions, review associated printables, After reviewing available word lists, we return to our example of assigning one list to the entire class. We first select spelling as our list type, then pick the group entitled Spelling Rules 4th Grade. From there, vocab class will ask the teacher an important question. Do you want to schedule specific lists by date? 
If you answer, no, all 34 of the lists and spelling rules 4th grade will be available to your students at once. Most teachers want to schedule one list at a time and they use our list scheduler feature to assign date ranges of availability to each list. To do so, teachers need to click the red yes box to access our list scheduler feature. Please note, you don't have to schedule all the lists in the group. Any list that does not have an end date assigned will not be available to your students. Only lists with both a start and end date will appear to your students during the date range assigned. Lastly, your students will have access to the list the entire day of the end date. Example, if you enter the 14th as an end date, your students will have access to that list on the 14th but ending on the 15th. Schedule the next list to start on the 15th. Now that we've scheduled lists, as a teacher, you can check your student accounts to make sure they see and can access the lists you scheduled. You can view and access student accounts one of two ways. First, conveniently located in your assigned word lists page, find the yellow dashboard button to the far right of each student's name. Click that yellow button to view a screenshot of what your student sees in their vocab class dashboard, namely, the lists currently assigned to them. In this example, Gabby S. is able to access and work on the activities related to spelling rules 4th grade, week 1 rules. This corresponds to the schedule we just added to the list scheduler feature. The second way a teacher can check to make sure their students are seeing and have access to the lists they assign is to actually log in as your student. To do this, find the Add Edit Students tab in the left margin of your vocab class teacher dashboard. Next, click Edit, Delete, Login, and locate the green login button to the far right of each student's name. You are now logged into your student's account and can check list assignment and access. Once lists are assigned and dates scheduled, teachers can always edit or change the current schedule or add more lists and dates to the schedule. To make these changes at the individual student level, first check the student's name box, then either edit the current schedule or add more list dates. To make changes at the classroom level to all students, return to step 2, option 1, remembering to select the all checkbox. Once again you'll need to select the list type, the corresponding list group, answer yes to the scheduler question and make any changes. To start over and clear all lists from every student, select the All checkbox and find the red Reset button to the far right. Click that to reset all the students. With the ability to assign and schedule lists to filtered groups, the entire class, or individual students, there are countless combinations a teacher can take when it comes to assigning lists. Let's review one more scenario in our demonstration classroom where we assign different lists to filtered groups and individual students.